Hi, my name is Sophia and I'm the middle kid. I'm here today to make a to-do video where I'm going to explain multiple features about to-dos in Rome Research for Kids. Um, if you don't know what Rome Research is, you can go in the previous video on this channel where my sister gave the introduction. Um, si vous ne parlez pas l'anglais, pas de souci, on parle aussi le français. Mais si vous pouvez nous le faire savoir, on pourra faire des vidéos en français aussi. Uh, thank you and we hope you enjoy! So, I know three ways that you can add a to-do like I did here. So, the first way that I know is I can add piano, for example, that I have to do, and I make to-do. Let me do that again. All right, so I did right click. When the green little circle appears around my mouse, um, it means right click. And here I can unmake to do or make a to do. The second way to um, do a to do is you can do command enter. And that made my to do right there. This is personally, for me, the best way to do it because you don't ruin your flow if you're journaling or if you're writing about what you should do um, for another day. And it goes much faster than clicking on each one of these um, if I wanted to do a to-do. The third way is you can make click, I mean, sorry, <laughs> slash and click. So right here, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do slash and click on the to-do. You can also do slash and enter. It's the same thing. You get the same result. So I'm gonna check this because this is my favorite one way to do it. <laughs> so um, a very smart thing in Rome is that if you go in all pages or you can find a, the page that I'm looking for that I'm gonna tell you guys right now, um, is, um, for example, I have right here, done. So I'm going to go on done. And here there's everything that I did. Um, but this is not as useful as the to-do page that I can also go here to get. Um, where, I wrote this another time, sorry. Where I can also write here, I should have left that there. Um, and I can see everything that I have to do for the date. Um, here's May 3rd, May 1st. I can see what I didn't do. I can complete it for another day. I can change the date. I can, I mean, not change the date, sorry. I can move this for another day. And you can see that if I press, for example, I already did, um, I checked my homeschooling with my mother. So you go check and you see that it automatically disappeared. So then I'm gonna go in done and search for that page right there. And it appears right there. And then if I undo it, it's going to appear in to do. So back to daily notes. If I wanna add um, a date um, to my to-do, which I'm gonna explain right now. I can do slash tomorrow or slash just a date picker right here where you get the calendar. You can choose any date in the year or even more years. <laughs> and uh, I can, this will appear in this date. So, I chose tomorrow for both of them and um, I don't have May 5th because we're May 4th now but if I press on it it's gonna appear as a to-do of a reminder of what I have to do um, that day so let's go back to May 4th so that's very useful we're gonna talk about this in the future so don't worry if you didn't get um, everything why did I do that I just did an undo. You can do that with command set. Um, and you can um, do this. You don't have to worry about um, the date picker thing because you can just use to do's like that for now. So um, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos. 
and I hope you guys liked this video and if you did please hit the like button and the notification bell if you want to get notifications of when we post a new video. Bye!